<clears throat> we made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. Yes, we hear you. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard. Look who's here. After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well, it's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but. Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Stephen. Oh, Lord. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, if you want us to help you, did you 
hurt that police officer in Seattle? Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father. But why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. You can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? I'm trying to figure it out. I just want to watch out for Daniel. Wait for him to get better. Before we take the road again. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left. Your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him. But you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Whoa, really? Uh, aren't you scared? The police already called you. Lordy, yes. But we're also scared for you. That's why you'll have to be careful around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, <laughs> you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. 
Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and uh, Mushroom. Please give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And a bathroom. I hear that. <laughs> Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. So, it makes you feel strong? Like, Special and mighty. I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway. Remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind, and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. Get dressed before you go, dude. Claire thinks breakfast is like a job interview. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean, finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. Whoa! Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa, show me your box store. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the box car later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or? Anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, oh, sugar. <sighs> he can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Mm. 
Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Why lock it then? It feels like you're hiding something. There's no secret. We just want to move on with our lives, Sean. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, yeah, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Tanya will freak. Thank you. <laughs>